Hey everyone and happy new year. I hope 2015 has been very good to you and that you've been having an awesome holiday season. In today's video, I'm going to do my annual update. I'm going to go through all the things I have planned for the new year and this one is going to be fun because I have been really thinking about what I want to really focus on for this year. Since I started this channel back in 2014, I've been going through a lot of trial and error, trying out different series, and just trying to see what my viewers are really interested in. So I've compiled this whole new format and schedule for the new year. First of all, most of you guys probably have been noticing that I have been uploading every Thursday. I've been pretty consistent with it and I am going to continue uploading every Thursday and the only difference is that I am going to be making a schedule for specific videos. Usually every month has at least four weeks and since I will be uploading every Thursday, there are going to be certain months during the year where there will be five, so that's good. <laughs> I will have a different video up per week and just know that it will be up on a Thursday. So let's get into week one. Week one is going to be about this notebook right here. If you follow me on Instagram, then you have seen me post about this a couple of times. This is the Moment Diary or Moment Journal, whatever they call it, but on the cover, it has the word moment embossed and it is just a really cute notebook. Since I first saw this online, I already had envisioned what I wanted to do with it. I forget how many pages this has, but I will leave um, a link to a blog post that I have on my website. Um, so you'll learn more about that if you guys are interested. The title of this series is going to be called Moment Diary. I will just be using this notebook for documenting my daily life and just, you know, favorite moments throughout the month that really make me happy. So the content will be pretty similar to what I've been putting in my Muji notebook. And in that notebook, I have just been taking pieces of my favorite multimedia paper and just painting on that and then gluing it on the pages, you know, so it'll be like a scrapbook. It'll be like a scrapbook diary. And I know I've kind of tested these pages out, so I don't think it's gonna be good for watercolor. And I don't want these pages to buckle. So I'm going to continue using my own paper and pasting it on here, which I don't mind because I actually like how it looks. It really gives off this scrapbook feel and just, yeah, it's just my, it's my style, it's my jam. <laughs> and in this notebook, I'll be also putting in some Polaroids, just random things that I get from probably restaurants or just places I go. So it'll be like what people do in their traveler's notebook and just putting some cute stickers because I love stickers. <laughs> the first week, I will be posting a process video. I'll be picking one moment from the previous month and I will just be filming a process video and it'll be the same format as like my slice of doodles like in the beginning I'll have um, a short vlog and then I'll do the whole process of how I create the pages after that so it'll be pretty similar to what I've been doing just in a really cute way <laughs> because I'll be putting a lot of cute things in here um, as you can see I have actually started the cover I have a Polaroid of myself um, just because and then I have this little pocket with some stickers just waiting to be used since I'll only be posting up one Day from the previous month. I will actually be posting more days on My Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram you should because I post a lot on there and You'll see more pages on my Instagram than on this channel week two which I know a lot of you guys like. It's going to be my slice of doodles. And for this one actually, if you guys saw when I first started the series, I made the slice of doodles for special occasions. Like if you guys saw, I'll leave some links down below, but I did a slice of doodles for my mom's birthday and then my niece's um, 
kindergarten promotion. All of those special occasions will actually be in this notebook instead. So, slice of doodles will be only about food. <laughs> and I know you guys have been loving my foodie edition, so instead of calling it foodie edition, I'm just gonna call it slice of doodles because you know, it kind of works, right? Because of the word slice. It's like having a slice of pizza or bring me up a slice of that cake, <laughs> you know? So it does work for my foodie adventures. I just wanna keep it simple and just keep it as a slice of doodles and it'll just be about restaurants I go to. And for this one though, I have decided not to use my mod notebooks um, I know, I know, I made a video about that. And you guys saw that I mentioned it in my FAQ about how I'm not even halfway in that notebook. To be honest, after a while, I have just been really not into the paper quality. I noticed that my last foodie edition with, um, where did I go? I went to Basic, which is a pizza place. And I noticed that the watercolor that I used, it started to bleed and I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> so I decided instead, since I have been enjoying binding my own mini notebooks, so you'll see, you'll see it when it comes, but I am going to bind my own mini notebook for my slice of doodles. So at least then I'll, I can put whatever pages I want instead of having already, you know, like a set amount of pages and not knowing if I'm going to fill it out all the way. So knowing that I'll be having 12 slice of doodles throughout the year, I can make, you know, a certain amount of pages for that so I won't have to waste paper. And I already picked out what paper I'm going to use which is going to be really good for my watercolor. Week three, not six, three. Week three is going to be whatever I want. You guys can suggest videos for me to post for week three. Any videos will do. If anything, I'll probably do a Blake haul or an updated studio tour or a speed drawing. So anything that comes to mind. You can leave some comments down below for suggestions. That would be so awesome. Week four. Four, four, four. Week four is going to be my monthly favorites. I know you guys enjoy those as well, so I would continue doing that. And I'll probably have it in the same format, but I think, I'm sure over time, I'll have new ideas coming up. But for now, it'll be in the same format that I have having it the past few months. And that's, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> so for the months that have five weeks, actually not really five weeks. I can say five weeks. Well, I would just say for the months that have five Thursdays, which are going to be March, June, September, and December. So four months out of the year, I am going to have an urban sketch video. Ah! I know, it's been a while. If you guys have been following me since the beginning, since I've started this channel, then you know that I was pretty consistent in the beginning with uploading urban sketch videos. I would go outdoors and draw on location and I would just film the process and just random things I see. A few weeks ago, I was looking back on my old urban sketch videos and I was just like, why did I stop doing this? Because I had so much fun putting it together and just drawing outdoors. It was so therapeutic for me. So I really want to continue doing that. I think it's good for me that there's only going to be four out of the year because if I did that every month, it would be kind of hard for me because I don't really go out that much. Um, if I do, it's always with like my family and friends. But to have four urban sketch videos this whole year, it's going to be really doable for me. And just putting all those videos together was just really fun for me to do. Okay, so for the urban sketch videos, again, going on this whole mini sketchbook thing, can't get over it. <laughs> 
Um, I have created my own mini sketchbook. Stillman and Burn is my favorite sketchbook of all time. And their Zeta series is my favorite one. I actually haven't tried their other ones, but the Zeta series is so on point. I love their paper. I bought a second sketchbook from them, but I haven't filled it out because of the size, as you know. Their size is the standard size for a sketchbook. And I haven't been filling it out because of my love for mini sketchbooks. I took two signatures and I cut it up to size. And what I did was I took some Mod Podge glue and glued it at the spine. And then I just took a, I seriously just went really simple with it. I took a piece of cardstock paper that I have in gray and then I just made a simple cover like this. And I did a pretty good job. I didn't really have to bind it with a thread because luckily I didn't cut the thread out from how it was in the sketchbook. So I just, it's still, oh gosh, I love it. The glue really helped. I let it dry overnight. And I think this is a good amount of pages for Urban Sketch for me for the whole year. <laughs> and the good thing about this is that it fits in my clutch, which I made a video about that a few weeks ago. I don't really know if I'm gonna put anything on the cover. Maybe just put Urban Sketch, I don't know. But this is a sketchbook that I'll be using. And I think that's it. Um, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention. Oh gosh, I don't remember. I think that's about it though. But for the most part, this is the schedule that I've created for 2016 and I hope it goes really well because I think consistency is the key. I want to create all of this for you guys and just for me personally because making these videos and looking back on them has really helped me grow as an artist and just as a person in general. And I just wanna thank you guys for your support and all of the positivity and love that you bring to this channel. I know it's cliche, but without you guys, this channel wouldn't exist. Um, I, when I first started this channel, I didn't think it would go this far. I think I realized how much art is a part of my life. Art is everything to me. And when you find something, stick to it because it's the only way that you'll become a better you. And to just, you know, evolve as a person and to feel like you're really living. Ever since I started this channel, I feel like I'm truly living my life till its fullest. And I don't want to get all emotional, but it's seriously true. And I thank you guys for being there. And, <laughs> okay, okay, before I start to tear up, I'm gonna just end this video because, oof. The girl is getting sensitive right now. And anyway, this video is getting too long. So that is that. And look forward for all the new videos and the new series. I hope you all have an amazing year. And as always, create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!